With the NFL Combine in the books and some big names not participating and the franchise tag deadline just 24 hours away and the new league year just a week and a half away, we've got some big takeaways to cover and I've got some sell alerts for you guys, some guys that are going up right now that I think you should sell, so let's dig in. Number one, the Vikings cut Alexander Madison, which means it's time to sell Ty Chandler. This is actually one of my cards right here that I sold. This is my second Alexander Madison card I've sold over the weekend. Both of these cards were purchased during the season, actually towards the beginning of last season for very, very cheap. Um, and his cards were so dirt cheap because he was a sleeper. Now they're going up relevant prices. You can see a ton of buy it now sold data. So depending on the type of uh, uh, Ty Chandler cards you own, I think this is a great opportunity to take advantage, get those listed, because we don't know if the Vikings are going to draft another running back. We don't know who's going to be added to the depth chart in free agency, and we don't know the type of full role that Ty Chandler will have in 2024 and especially with the volatility and the injury risk at the running back position you want to take advantage of opportunities like this to sell Ty Chandler hey real quick guys if you're new here welcome to the football card quest my name is Andy part of the newoffseason.com sports card network we are 100% dedicated to football cards research and selling tips so make sure you hit that subscribe button that little bell notification icon now back to the action. Next up, the Denver Broncos are releasing Russell Wilson after the new league year starts. They're going to take an insane $85 million cap hit, dead cap hit. It's, it's the most in NFL history. It's the most lopsided trade ever. Terrible trade on the Denver Broncos part. Obviously not gelling with Sean Payton. This is, this, you could try and sell Russell Wilson, but I think you're going to get better prices once he signs with a new team as a starter. But who I do think you need to get ready to sell, potentially buy and flip, you can buy right now and flip, is Jared Stidham. Just looking at his base and short print graded market here, the most transacted PSA 10 cards for Jared Stidham over the past six months, you can see that the base prism PSA 10, just $12. The base Donruss, just $18. I mean, that's pretty insane. So even the fill level silver, you could potentially get that card for an average of $23. It's really, really cheap, right? So tons of room for upward growth in the values of Jared Stidham, who actually hung in there quite well for the Raiders. And I mean, this guy can play ball. And in the brief period of not knowing who the starter will be for the Denver Broncos, once Russell Wilson is released, people will immediately impulsively gravitate towards buying Jared Stidham. So you can actually see some of these transactions today, yesterday, like this blue rookie ticket auto out of 149 PSA 9 selling for $80. That's really low. Obviously, has a lot of room for upward potential. But we are seeing some people making bids, buying some cards here. This is obviously going to spike once Russell Wilson is released. Right now, he's the only other quarterback on the Denver Broncos depth chart. Obviously, it's not going to last. But when Russell Wilson is released, that will be the perception in the immediate time frame. And Jared Siddham will be the guy that everybody buys reactively so be ready to sell jared stidham you have about 11 days for to make this flip so you could absolutely buy jared stidham now to sell him in a week and a half what's up guys andy here are you ready to start grading your cards well cgc cards is the perfect place to slab your favorite football cards from their crystal clear holders to their affordable pricing cgc cards is the perfect stop for your grading needs and the perfect pc protection go to cgccards.com to start grading today Next up, Jason Kelsey announces his retirement from the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, this is an interesting one because a lot of you guys look 
You can collect whoever you want and you can hold whatever cards you want. You don't have to sell. You can do what you want. Do what makes you happy, happy in the hobby. That's why it is a hobby. Have fun with it, right? But if you want to maximize the financial upside, maybe you've been holding Jason Kelsey for a while. Maybe he's not. Maybe you're more of an Eagles fan. Maybe you don't want to hold him long term. Bottom line is his cards are popping off right now. So whether you got veteran, rookie, it doesn't really matter. There are all sorts of Jason Kelsey cards selling for premium prices right now on eBay. And if you want to make a decent profit, now is a great time to sell Jason Kelsey cards. The next opportunity is going to be when he's announced for the Hall of Fame, and so that's why I brought that up. He's eligible for the class of 2029. That's five years from now. Sure, people are going to continue to maybe chase his massive monster cards like the case hits in the one-of-ones, but if you want to sell all these obscure cards right now upon the announcing of his retirement is a great time to sell all these base and obscure Jason Kelsey cards. I mean, look at that. $550 for a 2023 Prism Gold out of 10. Monster transaction there. But even the green standard, $11. Great time to sell. Make a profit if you're holding Jason Kelsey. But remember, guys, you don't have to. So you don't have to come attack me in the comments. Or you can if you want. It's cool. Drop me <laughs> drop me, drop me, a, a note in the comments. Next up, the Bears want to trade Justin Fields before free agency. And the overwhelming belief is that the Bears used, plan to use the number one overall pick on Caleb Williams, and therefore they have been transparent with Justin Fields about this and plan to trade him before the new league year begins, so within the next week and a half. And we have seen over the past six months an increase in the value of Justin Fields, but I'll tell you, a lot of this has been driven from the past 30 days. As you can see in the optic hollow, the optic, obviously the prism, the base downer is a little bit lagging behind there. Obviously, more volume, fairly low resale value. The key thing to take away here is that a team is going to have to take on a considerable amount of cap hit acquiring Justin Fields, which means that he's going to be a starter wherever he gets traded to. So, considering that we should see a spike in his cards within the next week. You can see there actually has been a considerable increase in the value of a lot of these, but there's obviously room for growth across the board. These are pretty low. Even the higher end stuff like this gold optic rookie ticket auto out of 10 Beckett autograph 10, but BGS nine on the grade 2,133. This limited RPA at a 49 for 188, but it was the best offer accepted in one of those auction formats for $140. So all things considered, like this Optic Silver Prism Rookie Ticket Auto for 285 in the Panini Redemption Sealed One Touch, it's a great deal. So obviously these cards have a lot of room for upside. Be prepared if you bought Justin Fields over the past a few months this is a great opportunity to get out and then of course if you've been sitting on those caleb williams cards you can get out anytime between now and draft night i would kind of list your price that you want for it and allow negotiations to happen and this is goes from top to bottom of caleb williams market but obviously the top cards for him are going to be from Bowman Chrome University. And his first Bowman Chrome is actually from the 2022 Bowman Chrome set. Of course, case hits are going to do very well as well, like this Prism Draft Picks Manga SGC 10 here that sold on March 2nd for $1,030. I think it's particularly advantageous to sell these college uniform Caleb William cards heading into the draft from now till draft night because there are going to be new pro uniform cards released shortly after, either whether it's from Panini Instant, Tops Now, whether it's from Leaf, there are going to be more sets released here throughout the summer, especially after the draft. They're going to have the NFL premiere, and then you're going to get into the Donruses and the Mosaics and the Elites and the Legacies 
and all those other sets that come out at the beginning of the season. And these cards will lose a lot of value once those come out. So I would take advantage, especially on the base end and the short print end. If you have more common Caleb Williams cards, take advantage of all this hype that he's got right now and go into the Bears, which is a massive market team, and kind of name your price. Sell in a buy it now or end an auction on draft night. That would be huge. T. Higgins has been franchise tagged by the Bengals ahead of the deadline tomorrow, but he's actually a tag and trade candidate. So be weary of this. Watch for this. Be ready to sell some T. Higgins on a spike. I believe draft night, we could see a pretty big trade go down from the Bengals involving T. Higgins that could result in a big spike for T. Higgins cards. And we are seeing elevated buy it nows already for T. Higgins. So Right now is a great time to start naming your own price on T. Higgins rookie cards. Potentially try and do an auction that ends draft night. But I prefer to do it as selling a buy it now so you get the price that you want or you just don't sell the card. But you can name your price and you can negotiate with buyers out there. Uh, but his cards are 100% going for premium horizontally formatted nice nice patch right it's got three different colors or actually uh, three different stitching stitching almost four plus three different colors and a rookie auto but horizontally formatted out of 99 i mean this card is is up a considerable amount from what the bottom could be beautiful rookie ticket auto here out of 20 also just closed last night for 136 so if you're looking to take profit you've been holding t higgins for a while this is a great time to do it. Marvin Harrison elected not to participate in the combine or any of the tests or show up to his pro day and instead focus on training for the actual NFL. I think this says a lot about his confidence and his focus on actually wanting to become the best NFL wide receiver <laughs> rookie ever. Uh, and this article goes on to talk about how more players might take his lead, especially players that don't need to show off their speed and their three cone. And this has not really affected his rookie autos cards at all. They're still very much in the sell category because of how expensive they are. Like this Bowman Chrome U Ramblin' Man auto out of 50 here, college uniform, $275, man. Or the big kahuna here. Uh, SGC 10 auto 9.5 out of 150 serial numbered out of 150 228 dollars in auction yesterday so the fact that he did not participate with the combine is not impacting his card values at all somebody here put Marvin Harrison Jr. in the Michael Pittman Jr. <laughs> uh, description uh, which contract negotiations are ongoing for Michael Pittman Jr right now likely is going to stay with the Colts it's going to come down to the wire but yeah I would take the same approach to Marvin Harrison Jr. you are with Caleb Williams all right guys that was the main stories I wanted to share with you guys today and get that out as quick as possible if you've tuned in this long then uh just be aware my schedule is once again atypical this Tuesday I'm out of out of pocket tomorrow um, I'll be out of the office but I'll be back on Wednesday and I'll be getting back to a normal schedule uh, for the next few weeks. And then I've got some more travel. And um, But appreciate you guys for tuning in, sticking around. Hit me up in the Discord server if you're part of our premium membership. That also gets you that web app and all the other benefits we have there. FootballCardQuest.com. Check that Go Premium button there. Um, and check that out and all our other content. We'll see you guys in that next video. Peace. <laughs>